I've been planning this video for a while. Someone mentioned earlier, I should do a video or I should stream or do a video with Rob Freeman, AKA the Pitching Ninja. That is Pitching Ninja on YouTube, Twitter, follow his Twitter. He's always putting up little like overlays. He creates this awesome content showing the nastiest pitches. He also breaks down numbers and makes fun of them buyers sometimes. Great content, go follow him, Pitching Ninja on Twitter and Pitching Ninja on YouTube. The links will be in the description below this video as well. But I was going to do a top 10 nastiest pitches of the, of, of the year. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break them down based on classifications, fastballs, breaking balls, change of slash splitter slash all that kind of stuff. And these are just, these aren't all of them. These are my favorite nastiest pitches from the 2021 major league season. And if you guys enjoy this video, make sure you give it the little thumbs up and interact with it and stuff so that I know that I should do a part two or three or four or five or six. But some of these are, are absolutely bowel twisting. So here we go. So first things first, Twitter told me the quality would be better. It isn't, but I think it's good enough. Starting with fastballs and I gotta give some love to my teammate, Marcus Stroman, throwing a front door sink ball here. Now, this is Jesus Sanchez. He's up on the plate. Uh, uh, you can tell Mac wants this thing way in. Let's see how it goes. Ew. Right at his knee, right over the plate, the strut. And look, look at, look at Sanchez. Damn it. Unhittable. One of the best two seams of the year, Mark Stroman, dude. Next up, I think we got a guy you guys are all familiar with. We watched him the other day. Uh, this one's from Corbin Burns. In the spirit of fastballs, we gotta have the cutter. This thing, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. Look at this. This thing's going to the other batter's box and then just takes a hard left turn. You know what else I love? If we can talk about this a little bit. I don't know if I can slow this down. I can't, I'll just do it like this. Crawford's like, I'm dead. But the thing is this angle, because of the angle of the camera, everything looks like it goes arm side, but it cuts so much that it literally, it literally got right on plane with the angle of the camera. and went straight, it looked like it was going straight from where the camera is angled at, which is insane. Guys, that is insane. Corbin Burns had one of the best years we've seen in a while. And he, he's got the, he's got the old uh, Roy Halladay cutter back. Doesn't hurt that it's 96. Speaking of cutters, you're about to see arguably the nastiest cutter ever, or could could potentially be the nastiest cutter ever. Obviously, uh, Mario and Rivera has the cu the cutter of all cutters. But if you ever wondered what Araldis Chapman throwing a cutter would look like, you're about to see it right now. Manuel Classe cutter to our boy Rafi. Guys, freezing Rafael Devers is not easy. The dude likes swinging and he's really good at it. We'll see how he reacts to 102. I think it's 102. Cutter 100 and way, uh, cutter cutter 101 up and away. My favorite thing is 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 this reaction. He turns around, he goes, "That's out, right?" Literally, immediately, he's like, "Away, it's off the plate." No, it's right there, isn't it? Damn it! <laughs> he goes, "Away, no." Shit. That's when you know 101 away. What? How do you throw 101? First of all, teach me. Second of all, how do you make it move? Hey, also, shout out to Rafi for the huge cha you have in at all times. Now, we've seen a sinker and two of the nastiest cutters everywhere. But let's look at one of the nastiest two seams. And, th and this, this person was asked about earlier in the chat, and he is a rookie this year. Shane McClanahan, first of all, the most Irish name I've ever heard. But this is 101. This is running off the plate. And, and I don't know if you guys noticed this. Anyone who follows Rob probably noticed that there's a lot of pitches seen for, in Tropicana. This is Tropicana Field where the Rays play. It's straight on. So the camera is literally up. It's really high and it goes straight behind the pitcher. So like east to west movement is really, really, act, like you can see it really well here. For a long time, Dallin Castillo, uh, Jose Alvarado, those guys were, were getting a lot of play here because they have really crazy movement pitches and they look even crazier in the trop. In, in the trop. So here's McClanahan. 101 by you. Now, this is this is Mark Canna. Mark Canna is a great fastball hitter. Like, like, like you go pitch to him, you're like, hey, heavy. Just give him a like a good dose of different breaking balls and stuff that's breaking down, and you can get him get him out. To just overpower him is rare. But look at this. Let's just watch it. Just uh oh. Uh, look, it's a strike ball. Hey, right here, strike ball. Oh, it's right down the middle. It's a ball now. High quality stuff. Shane McClanahan. 
guy's gonna be good for years to come. Now this is a little combo piece, and this is one of my favorites. Having spoken to this person quite a bit, we were in the minors against each other a lot. We used to both be starters, charting games and complaining about charting games together. But I would be remiss if I didn't have someone with an incredible fastball and an incredible breaking ball. And let's watch what they look like together. Without further ado, one of the nastiest pitches from 2021, Blake Trinan. So now he throws a sinker and he throws a, and he throws a, a improved slider. Uh, he, he, he developed a bigger slider, very similar grip to mine, which is, and he throws it harder than me, sad. But this is gonna be an overlay between a fastball and a breaking ball, and then it's gonna show them together. Watch this. There's the sinker. What? There's a the slider. What? 98, 97, then 86. 97, 86. And they literally cross pass halfway. They cr Look at this. Bonk. How? Like tried it. Teach me out. Now let's watch a changeup. Whose changeup, you ask? The airbender himself, D. Williams. So this one's a good one. It shows his fastball and his changeup and the reaction to both. This is crazy, man. So that's not even located, right? He just, he's like, here it is. Here you go, Larry. Here it is. I believe that was just 97 by you. So let's watch from the beginning again. So he's just like, all right, got to throw my obligatory fastball. Cool. We got it. We got ahead. Well, that's not Larry, is it? My bad. Not Larry. This is the airbender. Fastball. And then the changeup. What? Also, big fan of the hop. I like the hop. I'm loving pitchers just letting guys know, you know? Slow motion. Ew. Those are the same pitch out of his hand. The reason his changeup is so good is two reasons. Crazy movement. Or three reasons, sorry. Crazy movement. Obviously, that thing fell off the table. It's like a curveball. Two, uh, uh, velo separation. It's like minus 14 or 15. So like he throws 97, then he throws an 82 mile hour changeup. You just can't, uh, uh, when those things are both located, you can't account for them both. And three, the hand position on his changeup. So he throws a, a circle change. I throw a circle change. But what he does is he gets on top of the ball when he releases it, and he is able to quickly manipulate the ball to spin like a bullet, like, and oh, sideways, reverse like a reverse slider with his hand being on top. Me, I throw directly through the ball and it's a straight change. Most guys are. So he, so he throws something that looks like a straight change and then it's a crazy not straight, like a splitter. That's why it's so hard to hit because it's so hard to throw that like that. It's so hard. Because the guys who throw something that, that breaks that much or, or moves that much usually are really on the side of the ball like this. Like for example, Miguel, Miguel Castro. He throws on the side with a low arm arm slot. And when you see that arm angle, you assume the ball is going to move like that. He throws it where you assume it's going to ride and it just drops. Insane. Now, when I was doing my research, there was simply so many breaking balls. So first up, my teammate, my, the man, Dick Mountain, AKA Rich Hill, and the bender. No words. What are you supposed to do? Like, look, Edmund's like, Oh, it's a ball. Oh no, actually I'm out. Gross. Rich Hill, he's gonna play till he's 65 years old and he's just gonna be snapdragging people to death. One of the, the notoriously the best left-handed curveball in the major leagues. Arguably for, for years, Rich Hill. God, so, so pretty. Love that man. And also, in the uh, uh, in the spirit of breaking balls, next up we have a rookie this year, Tanner Hook. Is it Hook? Hook? Peak? Hoke? Hauk? 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 Okay. Hauk? 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 Or Hauk? Hauk? Literally, if it's Hauk, type H O W K A Y. If it's not, type H O W K. Okay, Danny, you don't know. All right, we're going Cat Hauk. This is all going in the video. Quirk. Okay, you're the worst. Tanner Hauk. Again, where are we again? We're in Tropicana. Here comes the slider. And uh, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I have a little bit of analysis to do here too before we move on to the next one. First of all, let's just watch it. Excuse me? Excuse me? So, look where his foot is. Look 
Look where his hand is. So this could easily be going this way. So he throws a two seam too. He's so far over here. And then it's just an inch away from his knee. Bro. Gross. Now, when I watch him, I'm like, that guy is freaking right-handed Chris Sale. 100%. He's long. He's stringy. He's got the leg kick. And the, this is the same kick. This is the same release. He stays closed. He's low three quarters. And then he finished with his freaking glove just like me. Like, bleh, way out. I'm like, dude, this is right-handed right handed Chris Sale. Same facial hair, too. Rob thought the same thing. He literally flipped Hauk around and put him overlaid with Sale. And this is the, this is the results. Sale finishes farther out. But they literally have the same mechanics. That's insane, man. That's insane. So this guy we saw all year. His last name is literally Bender. And he's got one of the nastiest sliders in the major leagues. This guy throws 97 mile an hour sinkers. But then he does this stuff. Hey, what's this? You have to be just guessing. Look how far out that is. And Austin Riley might be the damn MVP. Anthony Bender, this guy's nasty too. Again, stays healthy. He's going to be a good, very good reliever for, for years to come. Very hard to hit. Sweeping slider. Again, are you guys noticing the nastiest stuff is the east to west stuff? North to south isn't as nasty. Gross. And again, where are we? We are in the trop again. And this is the slider monster himself, Colin McHugh. However, a lot of people don't know this. He had the highest spin rate curveball for a long time um, as a starter. And he threw that most of the time. Didn't throw a slider as much. It was more of a cutter. And then he's like, you know what? I need to get a little bit, a little bit more horizontal. So let's work on that. So you know what he did? He went, he went in the lab and he made this thing. Cut! What? Right before this, at this point, man, this the, the ball is going towards the Louisiana hot, so, hot sauce sign. This is like on its way to hitting like here. And then where does it end up? Right down Broadway. Paul McHugh. Really good at tricking him. But this could have been probably in terms of the pitch slash the reaction to the pitch, the nastiest pitch of the, uh, of the, of the 2021 season. It's at least top five. The nastiest pitch of the year goes to my teammate, my brother. Miguel, the skeleton Castro. Watch this thing. Ask Kettel how Kettle, Kettel. Ask Kettel how he how he felt about this one. He was just protecting himself and his family. He was like, "Hey, if this ball hits me, uh, my family, my my family's also gonna feel it." You know what I mean? He was like, "Please don't hit me," right? And you got to remember, Miguel throws 100 too. So he's like, is this a slider? Or is this a, is this a fastball? But I believe that I got to show you. The tweet itself says, want to see a dead body? <laughs> All right, last three. You may know who this guy is. Jacob DeGrom, Fernando Tatis, breaking ball. How do you think this goes? Beautiful. We talked about this the other day, right? We said, why is Jake DeGrom so good? Jake DeGrom is so good because he that pitch right there, he could do it over and over and over. He could do it uh, 30 straight times. On, his, on on days he's on, he could throw it there every single time, and there's nothing you can do about it. Just uh, look at him. Everything he does, just perfect. Man, I wish I was Jake DeGrom. Okay, anyway, we're down to the final two, and I left I left the funkiest one for last. This guy's a rookie, too. He's got some personality. He wears number six. He's a Toronto Blue Jay. And he's got arguably one of the nastiest slides. He's got the funkiest mechanics. He's super funky, but he's super athletic. You can tell. Alec, Alec Manoa, here comes the slider. Mejia. E. Literally hit him in the foot. Throwing a pitch that hits somebody and they swing at, nothing better. That is... 
so so this is very if you see it's like very like high arm slot and then lots of depth lots of horizontal it's very similar to uh to the one we watched for trinan except and not not quite as hard but like this guy can throw he can backdoor he can throw it below the zone just a thing of beauty man our last pitch of the nasties pitches part one i think i'm very very good friends with this brother his brother's funky and nasty in his own right but we're gonna give this we're gonna give the number one pitch of this video to tyler rogers he's in the playoffs now he's a true submariner he's he, he is he's the most submarine guy we've seen in a long time even lower than Eshek and joe smith and oday the upshoot slider at 73 miles. so we we have we have seen stuff that starts off the plate comes back on the plate we have seen stuff that starts at the top of the zone and ends and hits him in the back of the foot we've seen stuff that's like like going to the backstop right down the middle what we haven't seen is something start down and away and go up and in. I I can honestly say Tyler Rogers throws a pitch that no one else in the major leagues can throw. He is the only person that looks like this. Tyler Rogers, nastiest pitch of the year, slider, down and down and away to up and into a lefty. He did this several times. He got he got Muncie once. He got Rowdy here in this video. Guy's crazy, man. Those were my nastiest pitches in the 2021 in association. Or, or, or in tandem and collaboration with Pitching Ninja. Make sure you go follow his channels. He's always putting stuff up daily. And hopefully Rob and I can work on some stuff in the future. But he pre he prepared all this stuff. All the credit goes to him. Uh, but if you want more videos like this, let me know in the comments. And have a good day. I'll see you next time.